Hi everyone, I've uh, got another little crafty thing for you. This is even more simpler than the Christmas pom-poms. Uh, today we'll be doing our own personalised uh, Christmas tree ornaments, which are monograms. So this is what we will be doing. That's the end product. Very spiffy, spiffy if I do say so myself. Um, these ones are great for kids, especially the glitter part. It doesn't matter if they're boy or girl, they always love glitter. So my son's going to have a field day with these this afternoon when he gets home from school. So with that in mind, what I did and what you can do is get the monograms. That I can print, you can print these off from your clip art. Um, any computer has clip art. So just look for the letter A or even if one of the fonts that you like in Word or <clears throat> Excel or wherever you wish to go. Um, I'm a PC user. Sorry, Mac people. And um, just put them out. I got actually got these from MarthaStewart.com. They have these monograms in every uh, letter of the alphabet. Um, but when you do, just a word of warning, when you do print off, I printed these on um, photographic paper, A4 photographic paper. Make sure in your settings when you go to print, you specify that it is in the main tray of your printer and that it's an A4 sheet that is in your main tray. Because when I first printed it off, it came out looking like this. I specified the main tray, but it um, said I didn't specify the size of the actual sheet because it said um, it automatically went to uh, what is it a six by four photo so that's how it came out like that but on um, these are going to be um, laid to waste and I'm going to use these as um, names for the presents from Santa so that'll be a good idea so what you need is photographic paper preferably a4 um, a glue stick glue sticks are better for this particular project because with the paste glue or the liquid glue uh, the the paper tends to go ripply and really yucky. It doesn't sit flat, whereas stick glue um, does not have that same effect. So stick glue is definitely a must. Um, obviously your glitter and a cup to draw around the outside of your monograms um, so that you can actually cut it out as well as leave a little space um, for, your, for, for, your, for the area of your uh, glitter and also last but not least is your scissors so let's get cracking okay so you have your printouts and what you do obviously is you cut them out but before you do that you get one of your standard cups that will give it enough clearance over each one to put glitter around the outside see as you can see there I've put the cup around and obviously just drawn around it pretty simple then cut out around that circle you've just made around your monogram so once that's done which is um, right here uh, you get your first one try and make it here see I've got it upside down because that's the way I'm going to glue it make sure it's straight you can if you uh, look at it you can see through it with the letter on the other side so make sure that's straight you got that straight then just glue it. This is so simple. So we just glue that. Then we get our piece of ribbon. Stick one piece down. Then stick the other end down as well. Now before we glue the other side on, we just go over that ribbon that we just stuck down because the other, the other side of the E that I'm using will not stick on that particular part and it'll be susceptible to actually pulling off. So you've got your bottom one straight. Now I'm going to put the top one on. So you just try and get that as straight as you possibly can and stick it down. Just pull it up by the ribbon gently so you can stick the edges down a bit better. Okay, so that's pretty much done for that. Now, after that, we now start to glue the outside of the edge. 
just around there. So we try and not get anywhere inside, otherwise when you put the glitter on, it'll just look absolutely terrible. So you just gotta see where you're going. The best type of glue for this, if you can get your hands on it, is the purple glue stick. It goes on purple, so you know where you've been but it dries clear. It's absolutely brilliant. I love it. But unfortunately I don't have that this time. See, I've just gone over a bit there. Just use the light above to see where you've been. Try not get on your ribbon at all. So I think that's it. All right. I'm using Martha Stewart Crafts uh, glitter. It's absolutely brilliant. It's got a top on it. That you just twip, swivel around and it's got the grated there and it's got a whole big bulky bit there as well. But first I have to take the safety cap off so it will spill everywhere. Now I'm using this intense red because as I said previously I'm using big bold red accent. So I just tap it along Pretty simple. You do, you will get a lot of excess, but we can reuse that. This is one of the messiest crafts ever. <laughs> I just spilled it all over the table too, just by putting it upright. So now just pat it down so that it gets really stuck on there. Okay, I'm just going to take the lid of this off because the excess I'm just going to funnel into the middle of the paper. Oh, get off me. And just pour it back in there. Okay. Alright, so that side's done. Ta-da! So that side's done. And then once that's dry, Turn it over and repeat, do the other side. And that's how you make your little monogram uh, Christmas tree ornaments. I think they're absolutely beautiful, um, especially with the, my children's names on it, Bead and Jai. So tonight when my son comes home from school, we'll be definitely doing this and I'm sure there's going to be a hell of a lot more mess as well. So there you have it, monogram uh, individual and personalised monogram uh, Christmas tree ornaments. Okay guys, see you later. Bye-bye.